ഹൈ സ്റ്റുഡൻസ് വെൽക്കം ടു എഞ്ചിനീയറിംഗ് ഗ്രാഫിക്സ് ക്ലാസ് ഞാൻ ഡോക്ടർ വിനോദ് കുമാർ റിട്ടയർഡ് പ്രൊഫസർ ഫ്രം ക്യൂസാറ്റ് ഇൻ ദിസ് വീഡിയോ വി ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ഡ്രോ എ വെരി ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റിംഗ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഫ്രം പെർസ്പെക്റ്റീവ് പ്രൊജക്ഷൻ വെരി ഇൻട്രസ്റ്റിംഗ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ദ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഈസ് ലെറ്റർ എച്ച് ക്യാപിറ്റൽ എച്ച് ഈസ് മെയ്ഡ് ഓഫ് സ്ക്വയർ റോഡ്സ് ക്യാപിറ്റൽ എച്ച് ഈസ് മെയ്ഡ് ഓഫ് സ്ക്വയർ റോഡ്സ് ഫിഫ്റ്റീൻ എം എം സൈസ് വൺ ഫൈവ് ഫിഫ്റ്റീൻ എം എം സ്ക്വയർ സൈസ് the overall width of the letter is 50 mm and the height of the letter is 60 mm that means there is a square rod vertical square rod 15 mm square 60 mm height another square rod and then a center piece connecting them the overall width is 50 and height is 60 this is the derivation of letter h see square rod square rod a center piece that also square 15 mm size 15 mm size 15 mm size overall width is 50 50 and height is 60 agreed what's the plan of this letter this is the elevation of the letter what's the plan of the letter plan of the letter is a rectangle with the two square parts at the ends 15 square 15 square a center piece overall width is 50 50 15, 15 plus 15 30 this gap is 20 therefore the gap there is 20 gap is 20 overall height is 60 overall width is 50 overall height is 60 this letter is standing on the ground this letter h is standing on the ground with the face of the letter making 35 degrees to 30 degrees to hp uh, pp 30 degrees to pp the letter is standing with the face of the letter making 30 degrees to pp with one vertical edge on pp one vertical edge of the nearest square square piece or square leg on pp the station point is 60 mm in front of pp 60 mm in front of pp station point is 60 mm in front of pp and the center plane passes through the center of the letter this is the center of the letter how do you get it draw the diagonals draw the diagonal of this rectangle or the diagonal of the total rectangle you will get the center of the letter h the center plane passes through the center of the letter therefore draw a line 60 mm away locate s p agreed 60 mm away locate sp agreed any distance below sp draw hl and since the station point is 70 mm above the ground draw gl 70 mm below hl i repeat draw pp draw this rectangle 50 by 15 with one by one point touching pp this face making 30 degrees to pp 15 square 15 square find the center draw cp 60 mm in front of pp locate sp some distance below sp draw hl 70 mm below hl draw gl that's a basic drawing agreed then we are going to draw this by vanishing point method i want to draw the vanishing point of this side what do you do draw a line through sp parallel to this side cut picture plane at v2 drop it down Fletcher, I get capital V2. Capital V2 is the vanishing point of this line and all lines parallel to this line. Then, look at the vanishing point of this side. What do I do? Draw through SP, draw a line parallel to this side. Cut picture plane at small V1. Drop it down to HL. I get capital V1. Capital V1 is the vanishing point of this side and all lines parallel to this side. Agreed? So, the basic drawing is over. Now, since this corner is over, I am not naming it. I am not going to name this ABCD etc. okay now listen i am going to draw it step by step i am uh, adopting the simplest of the methods okay i am ignoring all dotted lines after completion i will add the dotted lines but after, once i draw i will show you without dotted lines then i will add the dotted lines for your convenience okay that is not actually necessary dotted lines are not necessary okay now i draw i draw this corner down i draw this corner down to hl i get a point here i am not going to name it the height of the letter is 60 so i measure 60 up and i get a point there i join this point and this point to both vanishing points both vanishing points means to this vanishing point like this
Agree? Now, I am going to find the intercepts of these points. Look at this. Intercept of this, there, intercept of this, there, and intercept of this. I got three important intercepts. Then, intercept of this. Drop this intercept down. Join this. I mean, join this. Okay, before that, drop this intercept. Drop this intercept. Drop this intercept. Let's analyze what we got. What is actually this? This is This is the left face of the left leg Left face of the left leg What is this? What you see is This is the front face of the left leg. What is this? This is the front face of the right leg. Front face of the right leg, front face of the left leg, side face of the left leg. Agree? Okay. Join this point to that vanishing point. What did I do? I have joined this point to that vanishing point. Then, join this point to this vanishing point, this point to this vanishing point, this point to this vanishing point. What do I get here? What is this? This is the top of the left leg. What is this? That's the top of the right leg. Top of the left leg, top of the right leg. Agreed? Now, join this point to this one key point. Join this point to that vanishing point. Actually, this leg will be slightly to the left. Will come only here. When you join this point, when you join this point to this vanishing point, it will come somewhere like this. This point, this point is to be connected. What is it? It is the left face of the right leg. This side, uh, it's 
not looking good. I am adjusting it slightly. Left face of the right leg. Now analyze this. Analyze the drawing. Left leg, it's left face, top face. Right leg, it's left face and the top face. I have drawn only visible like this. Now watch. Now we have to draw the center piece. The center piece is connected like this. Agree? This is 60. This is 60. Isn't it? 60. Find its center. Now, the size of the metal is uh, rod is 15. So, measure 7.5 up and down. 7.5 up and down. Join these two points to that vanishing point. Connect this. Join this point to this one finger. Join this point to that one key point and extend in the opposite direction. Join this point to that one key point and extend in the opposite direction. What do I get? I get the center piece. Remove this. Now you have got letter H standing pretty well. Letter H, left leg, left face, top face, right leg, front face, side face, top face, and the center piece, top face, front face. If you want to draw the dotted lines, join this point that's already there. Join this point to this one sheet point, you'll get a point here connected by a dotted line. Join this point to this one sheet point, it cut this point, you get a point. Vertical line up to this corner is dotted line and this is dotted, this is dotted. It is better to avoid all those dot, dotted lines so that it looks pretty good. You will feel that letter H is standing there. Agreed? It is a simple question. You can draw it in 10 minutes. When you draw, if you know this method, you can draw it in 10 minutes. Only the necessary, very necessary things are drawn. Similar to this, you can be, you can uh, draw any, any alphabet, letter A, squarish. If there is a curved path, it is a problem because you have to adopt the procedure of drawing circles. Only squarish, letter A, letter B, letter B like this, letter C, letter D like O, letter E, very easy, letter F, and any, any alphabet you can write. You can draw, any alphabet you can draw. So I will request you to draw this. I hope the centerpiece which is drawn in red color will not confuse you, don't confuse you. I have drawn it with a different color for clarity. I don't know whether it has served the purpose. Okay. So that's all in this video. If you are happy with the presentation and the content of the video, please subscribe my channel, share it among your friends and like the videos. Okay. Thank you.